the opportunity to play sports at the collegiate level doesn't happen all that often. Less than 1% of student athletes get the opportunity to play at the Division I level. But for many athletes in our area, the opportunity has come and the Divisions 1 and 2 level next season will be well represented by Lima Land athletes. Let's start with baseball as Elida's Braden Leibarger signed with the University of Michigan and Shawnee's Logan Maxwell is headed to Texas Christian. Their WBL foe at Bath, Lex Bodecker, is on his way to Central Florida. His classmate Chandler Clark is off to the six-time defending Division 2 national champions Grand Valley State. I went to an ID camp in March and I talked to him. And then COVID happened, and I kept talking to him on the phone, and he got me up there a couple times, and I love the campus. And obviously, they're a winning program, and they win big time, and I play to win. So as a competitor, that's what I wanted to do. And after just being up there and seeing the team and all that, I knew that's where I wanted to go. So after a couple months, I made my decision, and there I go. New Bremen is sending three volleyball players to college. Claire Pape will attend Division I Purdue-Fort Wayne. Oh, it's amazing. It's definitely a lot of hard work. Uh, my club coach also has been a great influence on me. Um, it definitely is a lot of hard work, and I couldn't have done it without my teammates. Her Cardinal teammates, Diana Heitkamp and Josie Reinhardt, are headed to D2's Tiffin. So, I think I, I started getting recruited first for Tiffin, and while they were watching me, they saw Diana, and we both just kind of were like, oh, let's go to school together. Yeah. They'll be joined in Tiffin by Lincoln View's Brianna Ebel, who signed last week with the Dragons. Fort Loramie's Maya Maurer and Kenzie Holscher going to college together. They signed with the University of Finley to play volleyball. Turning to golf, Lima Central Catholic's twin three-time champions, Mary Kelly and Aaron Mulcahy, have signed with Finley. They're a really good program, and the coach wanted us. The coach was real. We really liked the coach. We like the team, and we also have a friend who's on the team at Finley right now, and she kept talking to us. She's like, why don't you guys come down and visit? And it felt good to be wanted, mm -hmm. and um, ultimately, I think we visited there, and we were like, okay, I think that's where we want to go. So it wasn't an easy decision, but I'm glad that's what we chose. I'm not trying to sound like arrogant, but we're used to winning right. and we want to go to a program that's like also used to winning and they compete for Division II national championships every year. In basketball signing, Spencerville's Emma Lease is headed to Kentucky Wesleyan, while Madison Cordonier is on her way to Finley to play at the Croy. Minster's Janae Hoing will join Cordonier at the University of Finley. A four-year starter, Ivy Wolf, is on her way to Miami of Ohio to play for the Red Hawks. Speaking of Finley, Ottaville's Josh Turbin signing Friday morning with the Oilers. The All-Ohio selection follows his parents who both played at Finley. At Crestview, Kayla Etzler made things official with Ohio State. After an 18-month commitment, Etzler joins a Buckeye class ranked in the top 10 nationally. Congratulations to all the area student-athletes who have had the chance to compete at the next level. In the studios, Aaron Matthews, Sports Report.